Hello everybody, welcome to Hive Swap. I know I've been sort of MIA for a while. Um, when I was last playing Mankind Divided, I lost all of my audio, so I just gave up on trying to salvage it. And after that, I was playing a bunch of games that I didn't want to record, and they were 100 hour games like Skyrim, Witcher, and Final Fantasy 15. But back now, if you can't tell, I'm getting over a cold, so forgive my Batman voice. Anyway, let's get up in this piece. Oh, doggy. Well, that's not normal. Name is... I don't know. Sorry, you're gonna need a minute. Okay, yourself a minute to freak out because of that monster. Thing with all the legs and teeth when you barely got it away from. I mean, it's up, though. It's posters. There's an eight so powerfully with the very core of your being. The animals. The magic. The power. They whisper to you in your dreams. Secrets of a better world on the other side of the stars. Okay. Am I might... Oh. I had randomly clicked something, didn't even realize this. Man! Okay. Yay, Mom. Ballet. What about you? Babysitter gave you this for your birthday. Joey, she said. Oh, my name's Joey. This wizard's the best. He lives in his little wizardry orb, just swimming in spells and glitter. He'll protect you. Look, he's doing it right now. Babysitter loves wizards, obviously. She's pretty great. I have to agree. I have a feeling that'll be a crucial item later. Uh, look first. Puppy surprise is having puppies. How many? That's a surprise. Uh, whenever you look at this thing, sign from that commercial runs through your head like a snake monster on an autumn afternoon. It's a great place to set your keepsakes. But I stay as a safe, safe as a teen hiding in her bedroom from a snake monster. Let's switch. Yay. Yay puppies and a key. Ah yes, don't ever think to look for your precious diary key inside a plush monster dog. This is all your brother, who was upset he didn't get one of the puppies. I'll give him one. Give him one with a little, a little pink eye, a little pink ear. With... Wait, his name is Jude. Uh, speaking of precious keys, there's also a beautiful little trinket that used to belong to your mum. You have no idea what it is. It looks like a demonic key, but looking at it reminds you of her. Honestly, you're not sure you'd be comfortable leaving it here with everything that's going on. I agree. Yay. Okay. Why I think maybe we should keep this beautiful heirloom of your mom's close. Just feeling deep, inexplicable, possible to ignore. Feeling. Uh, junior veterinarian, don't care. Uh, wait, I can change clothes. Uh, style montage. Oh yeah, I guess. Hell yeah. You don't always make some mighty racket logging you on. Probably not worth rounding up any hallway snakes to save your sights right now. It's not like there's anything much to... Yeah, uh, sure that you would let you know if anyone on your way bringing updated sights. What is this, the 90s? I expect so. This is Sir... Wait, there are bats out there too. Sir Bappy Posswater, your beloved man throw chap. You tend to throw his fussy whims and needs. You tend to his fussy whims and needs when you you trouble to imagine what they might be. What a daring dream to combine the finest qualities of the animal kingdom with the nobility of human animals. Wait, you mean humanity. Anyway, Sir Bappy Possewater will have to tend to his own fussy whims and needs for a while. You got a lot of crap on your plate right now. If you don't know what human animals is, you fucking got to. Prodigious collection of titles for your console's hungry cartridge-shaped mouth. All the best ones are here. Well, all the ones you happen to own are here. 
spend all day listening to him. Bubsy? Fuck. Mentioning Bubsy made you feel a little queasy, so you think you'll stop there. You might go lay down for a bit, actually. Can I lay down on this little niche? Ah, there's my diary. Time to get busy reading it for whatever reason. She's not much to record in here on account of the humdrum life you lead. Today will be a different story. Maybe you should take a moment to record a note now, just in case this is your last chance to set down your final words before your tragic demise at the hands of this horrible snake thing. Sounds like a safe point. Boop. You unlock it, open your diary. Nice. Juicy secrets, here you come. Except they're just your boring secrets, so you don't care. Also, my mom has a fancy necklace. Okay. I'm not gonna bother to try to read that. Maybe something from your past will shed some light in today's stare mysteries. Some little detail, mentioned offhand and forgotten. The key kicking off a casual cascade of connections that terminates in a catastrophe of snake monsters. April 13th, 1994. Dear Diary. Ho hum, nothing much happened today. I tried to make some new friends at school to maybe expand our social circle beyond just me and Jude's friends all the time. Wait, is it weird to call my brother's friends my social circle? Ah well, you know what I mean, Diary. I don't have any friends that I can really call mine, so I'm trying to branch out. I guess it's better than calling him my webbering. <coughs> the kids at school are jerks, though. They call me a poser when I try to talk to them about games I like and stuff. Between you and me, I think a bunch of the kids at my school might be evil? Jeez, I'm sounding all paranoid like my brother. They're just up to no good, I can feel it. June 12th, 1994. Dear Diary. Man, I sure don't care about this anymore. I'm looking at this picture of the cute little dog with a tongue now. What I really need is a vacation from humanity. I can't believe I haven't recorded an entry since the beginning of last summer. Needs to say, I've been back to school for a while now. Next summer can't come soon enough. Holla. Came home to our drunk babysitter again today. Sure, some quality adult supervision and we youngsters are getting around here. She means well enough, though. So well that she gets drunk. Haven't heard from Pa in weeks. Last we saw him, he popped in the house to drop off more stupid mummies and globes or whatever, then skipped off to go on more adventures. What a bozo. Also, how lame is it that he made us call him Paul and say dad while we were growing up? I miss mom. This is going to be the last entry in your diary. By gum, you're going to scare the bejesus out of whoever finds it once you're snake child. November 11th, 1994. Forgive my hasty nervous scribbling. I'm kind of scared. But maybe also a bit excited? Anyway, can't talk much now. There's a slang cunning monster on the prowl. Possibly hungry for kid meat too, so I've got to. Okay, I don't have a darn clue what I have to do. I'll fill you in later once I do it. Joey. Satisfy you've done your duty vis-a-vis -vis posterity in case the worst should happen. You relock your diary and hide the key again. Safe and sound. Okay. Um, wait. Can I get anything else? Oh. Aww. 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 Book. Rubik's Cubes, Simon says. Which is this? Sure you on a walkie talkie. Did you just remember Candle Lesbian or Walk to Proud Game? Okay, that's unappealing. Alright. Let's see what we got. Ugh. Looks like the green button isn't working. Well, nostalgia is satisfied. <clears throat> Got the batteries. Now surely there's a, a walk and talk device. An ambulatory oratory device. What's this big white square? Your name is Joey Claire. You live okay. I see, like, this would have been helpful like 10 minutes ago, but whatever. You live just outside the town of Hauntswitch. You are in no particular order. Puzzle solver, fuck yeah, semi-orphan, dancer of multiple schools, aspiring veterinarian, and a big sister. Speaking of, that monster, the one that barely missed eating you alive, only you're not thinking about that right now, might have been headed back outside where your little brother is. You gotta warn him. I do, but I need some sort of... Mom, uh, yep, yeah, okay. I need... A device that can transmit my voice over the airwaves. Huh. 
Take the tap dance ability to your technique. Yep, techniche. Yep, those are the words that refer to those concepts. You learned them literally just now. Use help if there's anything you need to shake up or shake off, or if you just need to shake it. It's the 11th of November. Today started off just like any other day with another sunrise. The sound of Sawberg going hog wild out there in the trees, but their songs have all but stopped. Now there's something else going hog wild out there. You know what it is, but it ain't birds. Sure as heck ain't hogs. 